Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over trading NASDAQ live on the five minute time frame. I'm just doing market replay. We're going to go back in time and see what we can take in terms of profits just by trading two hours a day, the first two hours of each trading day for the past week. So I just blindly went back to Monday, uh, November 20th, and we're going to trade the first two hours of each trading day. At the end of the video, you're going to see how much we made in terms of profits and based on your account size we can see what you could potentially make as well so if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader definitely hit that subscribe button because i trade nasdaq and es on futures and my goal is to share the profitable strategies i personally use so that way you can become profitable as well so without further ado let's dive in the charts uh, just before we dive into it and we go into this hit the thumbs up button it lets me know you like these kind of videos and if you do like these kind of videos i can make a lot more of them so just just hit that thumbs up button if you like it and without further ado let's dive into it so we're going to use one time frame only ideally i would use the five minute and the 15 minute and i would use the 15 minute time frame to see if we're bullish or bearish we are on the five minute time frame we're not even going to be taking a look at news and we're going to trade the first two hours of each morning so with all that being said we'll see what we can what we can take uh, you know, we're starting here at 4 a.m. Let's just get some candles ahead and we're going to go over to 9.30. And we're not going to take any trades until at least the first five-minute candle closes. So no trades till about 9.35. Uh, and then we're going to stop at 11.30. So only trade entries are going to be from 9.35 to about 11.30, first two hours. And we'll see what's what's possible here. So here we are uh, coming up on 9.30, 9.10. We're basically going to be looking for unfinished business and space to target and we're going to see if we're bearish or bullish and take trades with market structure. So this is 9.30, but right now we are bearish, making these lower highs. Uh, we did get, we actually did get bullish because we pushed up, we made a lower low, but then we pushed above the high to the left. If this can be a higher low, then this could be bullish and we could get in the long and target the highs, but I'm going to wait for the first five minute candle. Okay, <laughs> there is the first five minute candle and huge push to the upside. So we could have got in right there, but I said 9.35, we're going to start watching. So no, we're bullish, right? So we're going to be watching for a pullback to get in the long down here. And let's see if we get that. Okay. Okay, a little bit of topping. No shorts. We're not looking for any shorts. So I need us to come down. A, all right, we're still going higher. I need us to come down a lot lower for us to get in the long. Okay, here is something. So first potential setup is get in a long right now, stop below this swing low here, targeting the highs. So this is a trade we could get in right here. Not a huge fan of this. I would need another time frame at least, but this is just a starter trade. Uh, Basically, what I'm going to be going with is just two contracts. So if we're going with two contract size, then our stop is, like we said, 24 points. So two times 24 points times $20 per point. That's going to be putting our stop at a minus 980 USD. And then our take profit is 32 points is plus 1.28K USD. Ideally, if you're taking you know, one to two, maybe three trades a day, then your ideal stop loss is about one or 2% risk. So in this case, let's say we have a $50,000 account. This is a 2% risk, right? So if your account is 50,000, then you can do two contracts for 2% risk. If your account is 25,000, then you'll wanna do one contract. So you would just half these numbers. That's the basic sizing. So if you want me to make a video on sizing, and risk that we can do that but for this video we're just going to go over strategy and see see what happens so reason why we took this long is because we're in a bullish market structure we filled some space to the downside and we showed some buying pressure to the upside so we're just looking for us to continue to make new highs the reason why i don't love this trade is because there's a ton of space down here so we could come all we could retrace all the way down here first before continuing higher that's why i don't like this trade i chose this as my stop loss because this is is an obvious recent swing low so if we were to continue the market structure to the upside, we would stop around here and we would continue higher. So that's the trade breakdown. We'll see what happens, but we get stopped out. Okay, so now we're down, down 24 points. Let me put this on the screen. We are minus 24 points and we'll carry this with us as we go through the trading day. 
All right, so we're going to leave this one on the screen. We'll go forwards. Okay. Okay. Now, if we get more buying. All right, so this is this is a higher low. So this is a start of something I like to see. Yeah, I like this already. I already like this. I'm taking this long. Now, why do I like this? Because we're bullish and we sold off. We pushed up and we made a higher low and that's a big reversal candle. So what I'm going to just do is put the stops below all the lows and target new highs. So now 19 point stop, 46 point TP. See what happens. Quick get stopped out again. Nope. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. Looks good. So here's where it gets risky, in my opinion. So we've come up into some resistance to the left. We could reject and come right back down and take out these lows. So at this point, and for the purpose of this, I'm going to move my stop to break even. So now my stop is break even. Why did I move my stop to break even? Well, because there's potential resistance there. I mean, honestly, it could totally just retrace back, stop me on a break even, and then go. But that's what I like to do sometimes. If we're up like this, usually I like to take a, a partial off here and then move stops to break even. So that way, even if I do get stops at a break even, at least it's still a win. But for this video, moving stops to break even and we'll just see what happens. Oh, almost hit TP. Yeah, we're probably going for it. Okay, done. So plus 46 points now on that trade. And I hope you can understand why we took that trade. I explained why I took it. I explained why I moved my stop. Uh, so now we are net plus 22 points. And what time is it? It is 11.05. So that's two trades. And usually max I like to take is three trades. So what we'll do is we'll watch and see if we get anything else on the day. Uh, what I would like now is us to retrace back down and put in another higher low. We're just going to 11.30 though. Okay, so 11.30, no trade. All set. Now let's go over to... Let me just copy this. We're just going to skip ahead now and go over to the next morning just to see where we're at at 9.30. Okay, so we are at uh, 4 a.m. here just skipping ahead. I haven't seen the future trading. I didn't watch it. We're just going to continue get to about 9.30, and then again, only trade in the five minute. We'll see what we can take on Tuesday. Okay, so here we are, uh, Tuesday, 8.30. Well, we're bearish right now, so we're gonna get to about 9.30. 9.10, Here we go, 9.30. All right, so let's just zoom in. We're clearly bearish. However, there's some space to the upside. We pushed up. Um, we dipped right below, uh, we're, again, we're bearish, right? So we're looking for shorts. It's 9.30, a uh, huge buying after that. But let's see what we can take. Okay, no trade yet. What we're kind of looking for is us to trade into resistance to the left and get rejected. So no good risk reward. We kind of look like we're rolling over, yeah, but this, it's not a good risk reward trade for me at least uh, it's tough when it consistently goes down all right so that's a higher low if they take out the higher high then we can go bullish nope still down all right came up and got rejected all right so Since we have a very consistent downtrend, I believe we can take a short on this candle close because it's a rejection. We could not get above this red candle here and close down. So all we're gonna be doing is targeting a new low and our stop is gonna be above this high. So target will be 19 points because that's like a exactly, yeah, new low, 19 points. So target is 19 points, stop is about 15, 16 points, uh, about a one to one. Just because, you know, the reason why I'm taking this is because it's just in a, such a steady downtrend and it's not giving us much room 
to make trades. So this is a stretch, but this is a huge rejection also. So I like that. Um, yeah, we're going to see how this goes. Let me just put on the previous trades on the screen. So we took two trades on Monday, one loss and then one win. Okay. All right. Perfect. We just wicked it and it came up too. So um, that's plus 19. So now we'll add plus 19. And we are net 41 points. Yeah. So net 41 points in the two trading days. I like that trade. Uh, since we have a win, I'm going to be really picky. Uh, usually after one win, I might call it a day. Definitely after two wins, call it a day. So I'll be a little more picky with my setup now. All right, down. We might just keep going down, right? Let me just copy this. All right, still bearish, still bearish. Okay, so one trade I could do is, yeah. Um, I want a little more confirmation, but what I like already is already a long to 15.970. I just need us to get above another high and then get a good entry. Yeah, so we didn't do it. If we do get above this high, I could take a one contract. I would take half size long. Still didn't get above the high and we got rejected. Still didn't get above the high. And now it's 1120. It's actually 1125. So after this bar, if we don't, ah, tough, tough. All right. I'm going to do one contract long. One contract long. Why am I doing one contract long? We made a low. We made a high. We made a higher low. We made a higher high. Bullish. Lots of space to the left. I think that we could get in along here. Put a stop below the most recent swing low. And target the resistance to the left for a one-to-one. -one. 23 points of downside. 23 points of upside. One-to-one. -one. one contract though. So half size. Half size. Because I'm not as confident. It's a strong downtrend, just not as confident. So that's how we're doing half size. But basically, if it's a win, we're going to be up like 11 points. If it loss, we're going to be down 11 points. All right, so let me just drag it here, and we'll see what happens. Doesn't look good. Yeah, does not look good. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to move stops to break even. Yeah, I'm going to move stops to break even. Risk free trade. See what happens. Ooh, so close. So close. Oh, done. Haha, <laughs> nice. That's awesome. All right, so hit TP. 11 points. We add 52 points. Okay, so now we're net 52 points. We're going to call this plus 11 points because it was half size. And I hope you can understand why that was half size and why we took that trade. So now let's move on to Wednesday. Move on to Wednesday. See. You. Yeah, so it went right through it. Looks good. And uh, I'll, we'll go over to Wednesday now. All right, here we are on uh, Wednesday at uh, 920, um, 910 basically. Uh, we're in an uptrend. Let me put the stats on the board again so we can see where we're at. And now we will see, clearly we're bullish. We're gonna wait for the first two candles, uh, the market open, so 920, nine, that's 930, now that's 935. Okay, so clearly bullish, super bullish, right? Wow, very bullish. So we wanna wait for a pullback to get in a long. We'll see what we can get here. No, too strong. Okay, okay. Um, that's too low for me. That's too low for me to get in a long. Yeah, too low. That kind of that puts price bearish for me. So 
basically looking for shorts now. Definitely looking for shorts now. Alright. Okay, so here's a possible short. I don't like it though. I want us to retrace up more. Why is this a possible short? So we're bearish. So it means we're looking for shorts. Uh, but if we wanted to short now, we would have to put our, our short there. We would want to put stops above these highs. Yeah, and you can only target like 26 points, so it's not even a one-to-one. -one. So we cannot take that short. Yeah, it worked out, but wasn't good risk reward. So now I don't like this short. Why? Because this is a high, this is a low, and this is a higher high. So you know we're kind of bearish, but we want to. I mean, we're kind of bullish actually, but we want to look for a higher low. Yeah. So this is tough. All right. Um, they're really making it tough because this 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 is a long, in my opinion. If we wanted, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. I don't like it though. I'm not super confident. I'm gonna have to do half size. I'm gonna do half size, yeah, because half size and my stop's gonna be tight. Why are we doing half size while we're doing a long? Okay, so I liked the push up. We sold off, we went bearish, we pushed up, got rejected, went down, and then pushed up, made a higher high, and then found some support here and found some buying. So I would like this more if I was more patient. So if I waited for us to push above these highs to the left here, and then, yeah, I'll just wait. I'm just gonna wait. Sorry about that, my laptop was dying, so I had to come in and plug it in, but we're gonna continue this. Um, yeah, instead of doing this half size, I am going to wait. Why am I going to wait? Because, like I said, like I was just saying when I was outside, is we went, we went bearish, right? Uh, and then we pushed up, made another lower low, and since then, all we did really was make we made a higher high. But this is a big control bar, so I'd like to see price get above these highs to the left and then pull back. So if we got above and then pulled back to the support with some buying, then I would like to get in the long. So we're gonna we're gonna wait. Give a candle. Okay, like that. This is exactly what I want to see. Okay, so <clears throat> now that we pushed up, I want to see a candle retrace before going all the way up. Like we, like honestly, I could miss it, and if so, then that's fine. But we could push all the way up to the left and leave the station. What I want to see is us pull back, form another support here, get in along to push higher. Yeah, so we could just keep going. Oh, there's a rejection candle. Okay. Not bad. I just want, I need us. I want us to come down to here. That's exactly what I want. That's exactly what I want. I just want. Yeah, any candle that shows buying now, I'm getting in long, and I'm gonna move my stops below. I mean, honestly, putting stops below this wick is sketchy because we want to use a swing low. Yeah, so we're gonna have to use. The actual low. If we got in a long, let's see if we can get at least a one to one. I don't like a sixty points. Yeah, you can't even get really a one to one because I want it. I want it to take profit below this wick. So I need us to come lower and show buying. Uh, oh, oh. Um, still bullish. Actually, very bullish. Now, this is very bullish. Why? Because we got above this high to the left. So we pushed bullish. And now we're coming down to support. I thought we could stop at this support, but we're stopping at this one. This is even better for me. I could get it along. You know what? I'm going to get it along here. Now, why am I getting it along here? Because there's buying on this wick, buying pressure. And my stop is tighter. So now I can have my stop down there. And I can have my target up at the wick to the left. And if we got above, nah, I need, I need to wait. I need to wait for one more candle. Um, that's what I needed to wait for. I don't like how this wick is pushing down, but that's buying. So I'm getting along again. This is just one contract because the stop is big. 
35 points dot target is up all at 82 um possibly though if we just got above this high yeah i would take profit even if we got above this high and i have to move my stop to break even if we came into the resistance to the left so one contract so basically whatever the profit is we're going to half the points because we're doing half size on this trade let's see oh looks good so now we would move our stop to break even if, if price wicks up here and then rejects our stop is break even so that's what we basically do there um okay it, it did come up there no not stop will not be break even yet i want to change my stop all right well we're keeping our stop down there until we get a little higher all right so we did wick this wick all right my stop is break even target is up there we're going to see what happens okay okay All right, it's going into 12 p.m. So we would just kind of set and forget this. We would walk away because we're only doing our two hour, first two hours of the day. And we'll see what happens. Boom. That's awesome. All right. So half of 62, we'll say 31 points. So this is net 31 points. We're calling this last one plus 31 points. We are now at plus 83 points for the week on uh, two contract size. Assuming that our account size is about 50,000 or so. Um, if our account size is 25,000, let's say with 50K account, net plus 83 points times one contract if our account size is 25K. That's just proper sizing guidelines. All right, that's our one trade there. So uh, Thursday is a holiday. So now we're just gonna trade Friday. So short trading week. We're gonna see how Friday goes. Let me just fast forward here. So as I'm fast forwarding, I can talk. We'll just talk about, you know, I'm taking these trades based on the five minute only. I'm using market structure. I'm waiting for good setups by letting price retrace. I'm being patient by getting good entries. Let's say there's a trade I want, but I don't let myself get in because the risk reward is going to be less than one to one. So I want to wait for at least a one to one. I want price to pull back to some key areas and then show buying pressure if I'm looking for longs. And then you can see times I half size or full size. I go half size if the stop is too big or if I go half size if I'm less confident because of the way price is trading. And this all comes through experience. But over time, if you have a certain strategy and you see candles play out time and time again, you develop more confidence and you can start to play around with these things, move stops when necessary and, and so forth. So give this video a thumbs up. You know, let me, I hope you found some value so far, but we're going to go on to the last trading day, which is going to be Friday because again, Thursday was a holiday. So I'm skipping over to Friday at about 9 a.m. And Friday is also a half trading day. So we're just going to trade 930 into 1130 again, first two hours and make sure that we're using proper risk management. I've noticed also on Fridays, they're not as good for me personally. Fridays are tough days. So most likely I'll end up just doing one contract on the trades. We're up good for the week. We don't want to give back a ton of profits on Friday. So Friday, I'm going to trade with one contract. And that's another tip I would suggest. You know, Adjust your size based on confidence. Adjust your size based on your back testing. After you do all this testing and data and you find out, hey, certain days are maybe not as good or certain times aren't as good for me, you lower your size of them. You know, if there's a certain setup you're really confident in, increase your size. But that comes over time. So here we are, 930. Uh, we are bearish now, uh, pretty much choppy. We're just going sideways. Now we are pushing up, not pushing up, we're pushing down. All right. So I would usually like this short, however, we're coming off of a higher low. So we're bearish, but this is a higher low pushing up. We got a good rejection, so we could short here, target the lows, but I don't like shorting after a higher low. So I'm gonna have to wait. Yeah. Again, could short. If I was feeling risky, I would just short here. I would put my stop above this current high. It's not as good, ideally above here. And then target would be below the lows. 
but again, it's not ideal. So we would have to do about below all of those, but I'm not taking that trade because I need to see more. All right, so ended up going there. Could have taken that trade, no problem. Why did I like that trade? I like that trade because we were trending down and we we're having a lot of rejection. So I thought we would take out the low. Why I didn't like the trade is because we were coming off of a higher low. Okay, so we could come push up and test here, but we're not taking any longs because market structure is bearish. All right, we're still bearish. I don't see anything I like. Yeah, it's probably it definitely lower volume because it was after a holiday and we're going into a weekend. Yeah. I can see the short opportunities, but I just don't like how tight it's trading and it's t trading tight because the volume's lower. We're going sideways, but it looks like we want to push up. All right, so yeah, so I would not be able to take this trade yet, but as we can see, we're curling up. We're curling up. What does that mean? We put in another lower high, lower low, came up, but we're consolidating, wanting to break this high. So if we broke this high and then pull back, then we could look for a long. Still no, we're running out of time because 11.30 is the cutoff. Yeah. Uh, we marginally broke the high and then came back up. So since, uh, let me just put the track record on the screen here. So since we are up right now and it's the last trading day, it's half size, we can use one contract. Because of all that, I'm gonna put in a long here. Why are we putting in a long? Because we made a low, we made a high, we made a higher low and a higher high. Pulled back, wicked up and had some buying pressure, looks good. We're gonna move the stop below all the lows. We're gonna target resistance to the left. Um, we can't make, the, yeah, we can't do that because it's not a one-to-one. -one. So we're gonna put the stop below this swing low. Target resistance to the left here. Uh, we're looking at 14 points profit and uh, 13 points stop. So one-to-one, -one. there we go. One-to-one, -one, let's see what happens. Oh. Ooh. There we go. Nice. All right. So half size plus seven points because it's plus 14, but half size. So we're going to call this last one plus seven points. And now, oh, look at that. We're at 90 points for the week. And it's also a short trading week. We didn't get to trade the Thursday at all. We'd be looking at plus 3.6K with two contracts for the week. And we'd be looking at plus 1.8k with one contract for the week. This is how you can make 3.6k each week just trading the first two hours of every trading day and just using one strategy in one time frame. Again, this could be even better if you use multiple time frame analysis, but for the sakes of this video, we're only doing one time frame and that is on the five minute chart, trading NASDAQ only. That's gonna conclude this video. Thanks so much for watching. Again, give it a thumbs up if you appreciate it and subscribe for more videos just like this. I post two videos a week. One video a week uh, is gonna be on a market analysis and one video a week will be live trading price action, going back using strategies and showcasing the strategies I personally use to be consistently profitable over the years. So if you wanna see more of that, then uh, hit the subscribe button and look out for my next video coming out Thursday night. And I'll see you the next one.